We have two touch sensors, direct drive, eight attachments, five programs to accomplish eight missions using 47.7 kilobytes, and our highest run gets 250. Have you got uh, the, the executive summary? Have you got a sample of your program? Okay. Um, we've been really excited with the progression of our robot over the past few months. Um, one good example was our old back wheel. We, um, it had great pivoting options, but we found that it continually got stuck under the back side of the robot. Then, Joanne designed this neat uh, back wheel, and uh, and um, we just, we, it was adorable enough for our, uh, um, it sometimes missions. fell apart in the middle of the mission. So, Rachel, she added two te techniques freaks to the back of the, to the um, robot, and then we just saw that it, it, we didn't really need a wheel, and it didn't get caught anything, it didn't fall apart, so it was, that was perfect. So you have a dragger, you just drag the time. Great. And it was really important to us that we didn't have, like, a Rube Goldberg robot, um, Why not? They all are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we kept the KISS rule in mind, keep it super simple. One great example of that is our battery. We made sure that we didn't bury it with attachments and kept it very easily accessible. If it's okay with you, we're going to run some programs while we're yeah. Okay, what missions are we going to try to accomplish? Um, we're just going to try to get to the racks and the freezer truck. And then after that, we're going to try to get the How many attachments do you use? Um, yeah. yeah. I think you said that. <laughs> um, so at the beginning of the year, we were simply lining the robot up in some base. Okay. But then we realized that it wasn't accurate and it always ended up in different places. So we added two touch sensors to the back of the robot and um, to make sure it always ended up in the same spot. Also, we had an ultrasonic sensor on it, but we never knew when, where it was going to correct itself. So we decided that the two touch sensors was better than our new. So, and then we all worked as a team to develop strategies, and we all pitched in, and we didn't really argue. So all of us, we did our homework, and we researched the missions, and then we, when we were discussing on which would go first, we all kind of like had the same ideas of where it should go. So we all worked really well together to did, get Did you guys together. just do this one, or did we forget to set it up? No, they just no, they tried it. Oh, they, they just did that on there. Okay, I didn't see it. Sorry. Um, and uh, <clears throat> for the germs mission, um, we were just going to get the green and the red and then go straight to the pink. But then we realized if for whatever reason the truck wasn't clear, which is the mission before this one, um, that we um, that it would mess up. So we had a completely different program for it. Um, and if it wrecked in there, we could still have a chance of getting the paint germs. So in the end, um, we had gotten better throughout the year and we all had lots of fun with um, all the robot games. So you're using, uh, how are you keeping track when you're on rotation? Counts or? Degrees. 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 Okay. And then you, you're all using the touch sensors to, for the initial start, correct? Right. Yeah. That, that just lines you up. Yep. And so you know you're flushing. And on two programs we also need this wall to make sure we're going straight that way. Oh, you back up and go. Okay. Ah. Okay. And uh, has anyone tried to do the, the dials or anything like that? Or? Yes. How successful were you? Um, well, at home it was working, but today it hasn't worked. Oh, okay, yet. all right. <laughs> what was the hardest pro um, program to, 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 to create that you worked on? The rats, I guess. Probably the rats, you know? The rats. Because it's, it's really tight in here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> the truck was pretty hard to pick up, too. The rats and the truck can deal with the same program. This one just goes a little bit further than the other. Or, or how did you do that? You did um, it, and I was. <laughs> it came here, got this comes one. Here, and then moves up, over here and backs back up. Down, back up. Okay. Oh, it comes over to this one too. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Cool. So you can get them both. Yeah. Yes. Or you grab both teams. Okay. Still, the other guy's wrapped. How'd you wrap that? I thought this was a one. No, it is. You scoop it off the. You take it off the other one? You take it off. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, what's unique about your robot? 
I would say that it, um, like what we were explaining with the, with it doesn't have a wheel in the back, it just kind of drags along. Okay. The touch sensors probably because, and um, I guess just the design of the robot, like the the motor right here, like that's like it's a con it's convenient for a lot of the missions over here. So I like that. What uh, what uh, was your biggest challenge this year when you were building the robot? Probably the back wheel, which we talked about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like you guys answered that. Uh, solved that problem pretty well. And how'd you come up with the bigger wheels instead of smaller wheels or tracks or? Um. Or did you just well, <laughs> the other years we we realized that the bigger wheels are a little bit more accurate than the smaller wheels. Okay. Because they're like more stable and bigger, so they can. Okay, and they go over stuff easier. Yeah. Now what's the uh? What's the low hanging stuff do down the bottom? Is that to place the fish? This? Uh, yes. It's to bring the baby fish back to yeah. the Can you do that? Or yes. Okay. yes. Let's take a look at that. <coughs> Please. Did you have uh, multiple attachments that I didn't see? No. Oh, so you have eight different attachments. Eight different attachments. Okay. This is for the truck to scoop it up like that. And this is for collecting the fish. Okay. And this is to the truck. You need the fish. I saw one. This is the bucket for the drones. I swear, you know. I do see some bucket. Oh! 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 oh. 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 I see him. Somebody do it. Yeah, wow, you're almost there. You're Real close. Now we got nice tight controls. I can't believe it missed the timer. It usually gets that timer. You got nice tight controls on, on the yeah. turn. I mean, it's just true, 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 true. Yeah, nice. I like the way you use your touch now. Do you you just want to knock those loose? You're not collecting those, right? No, well, I didn't. It wasn't supposed to be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, well, maybe it should You can run the I mean, yeah, yeah, right here. Here. So, uh, You have two minutes. So, um, initially, yeah, we were going to get the purple ones. But the turn was a one. But um, between the red, we were trying to go through that. So we were kind of too tight with the turn. Um, and, yeah, that was. We decided that we would be baby fishing before this. <laughs> so that was way too uh, late to decide that. But, uh, Did everybody do a little bit of programming, or just a couple of people? Yeah, because we all got assigned different um, missions. Like I got assigned the rats, and Haley got assigned the freezer truck. So you so had to program your we both had to pro we both program them because since they're really close, we thought, well, how about we just put them together? So <laughs> and somebody else would have programmed their own um, mission, we whatever they were assigned to. Well, we were all assigned to a mission, but then we kind of all ended up working together to do it because yeah. we're just like, I run ideas. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. And this was working a little too, but there's <laughs> the, we like the truck. We built the truck around because they're supposed to be two kind of like... But the truck is like this at home, isn't it? Yeah, but they're supposed to be two... There's an extra bumper on the truck out there that we're having trouble okay. with, so I don't know what... We yeah, I, we... Thanks for noticing. We. Um, this is just a practice field. No, but ours is like this at home, so we did something uh, wrong at home. <laughs> our, our, we have to admit, we have people to fix our field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can, can, I can uh, say, I mean, I set up some of these fields last night, and I just took the thing out of the box the way that, that's yeah. how it was. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we, so I we apologize for the Oh no, it's just interesting. Every year there are so many little <coughs> teeny details, and sure enough, something we always mess up. <laughs> well, how, are you, how many years have you guys been doing this? Oh, why did it get stuck? Um, this is my fifth year. I mean, oh, Steven, it's their second, right? Steven, yeah. had that other bumper, it would have worked. Yep. Yeah. All right. You want to try it one more time and just move it like that? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Okay. I'm kind of out of time, right? Well, I'll try it one more time. Yeah, one more time. Just to see. Yeah, it's a call experiment. So we don't want this to be late for the next one. The robot? Okay, so it's just too heavy or something? Or where your battery is? Sometimes it stops. Oh, thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Here's more information about our robot. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.